Hello children, welcome back to your science class. Today we are going to learn much more interesting facts about soil. Let us get into the chapter. Let us recall what we have discussed in the chapter till now. We have seen the introduction to this chapter. We learnt how soil is one of the most essential factors that supports life. And in the previous class, we have learnt about several layers of soil that is soil profile. In today's class, we are going to learn about different types of soil. Before knowing the types, we will memorize how the soil formation takes place. Yes, it is by the process called weathering. Weathering is the breakdown of rocks by the action of wind, water, climate, etc. physical and chemical factors over several years of time. Now coming to soil types. I think we all are familiar with the words sand, clay, rock, etc. Yes. These are all soil particles. Soil definition can also be explained as soil is the mixture of rock particles and humus. On detailed study of soil, they have discovered three different stages of soil. They are soil, solid soil that is very compact and hard soil, soil with air in the pores, that means uh, soil that has air present in between them and soil with water in the pores, that is soil holds water within it. So children, the types of soil we are going to learn are mainly classified based on the factors of its texture. That means we have already learnt what is texture, that is the feel, how we feel when we touch it, like it is soft or hard, etc. And the proportion means the size and different forms of organic and mineral compositions. That means the humus and other nutrients present in it. The soil is mainly classified into four different types. They are sandy soil, silt soil, clay or clay soil, loamy soil. The picture you see is how they appear actually by nature. So the first soil we are going to learn is the sandy soil. These Sandy soil are small particles of the weathered rock like we see in the deserts. They do not support in plant growth. The soil do not hold water and this soil has very low nutrients. The sandy soil makes hard for the plants roots to absorb water as we just discussed it because they are very poor in holding the water. These sandy soils are good for drainage system. Have you ever noticed a pile of dirt near the roadside? They usually cover it with the soil as it avoids the dirt to fly because of the wind and control the smell. These soils are usually formed by the breakdown of granite, limestone, etc. rocks. Next is the clay soil. You all are familiar with clay, yes? You might have formed several molds and shapes with clay for experimentation or projects. So let's learn about the characteristics of this clay soil. This soil is tightly packed. It has very little air space. It has a very good water holding capacity. 
it leaves this clay soil leaves very less space for the air to penetrate into it as most of you know it is sticky when it is wet and becomes smooth when it is dried this is the heaviest of all types of soils and as it does not leave any space within it due to its compactness it do not support any plant growth next is the silt soil silt soil is made up of rock and mineral particles this soil is smaller than sand in size or proportion but it is larger than clay this is a smooth soil usually without any big rocks and other unnecessary particles are not present in this soil this silt soil has a better water holding capacity uh and this type of soil can be easily transported by moving currents of water or wind and that's why it is mostly found near water bodies uh mostly like near the river banks of all types of soil silt soil is more fertile and is used in agricultural purposes to improve the soil fertility and for the better growth of the plants and the fourth type is the loamy soil this soil is the combination of all the three soils we have discussed till now that is the sand sand soil silt soil and clay soil yes these three soils combination is described as the loamy soil it carries the characteristics of all the three soils and this type is the combination of this three soils and that is why it has good water holding capacity it has good amount of nutrients which is best suitable for agriculture and as it is best suitable for agricultural purposes the loamy soil is also called as agricultural soil and other specific characteristics of loamy soil is that it has high calcium ph and humus content in it and uh, we can also say that these loamy soils have good organic matter and nutrients in it for growing plants so children these are all the main four types of soils keeping in mind all the characteristics of these soils let us do one activity to test which soil sample we have collected so the first step is we will collect different soil samples that means soil near plants soil from the ground soil near our building or house it's not compulsory that you collect uh, all the types of samples but if you only collect the possible different soil samples you can and the next step is take a fistful of soil from one of the samples you have collected and it is uh, shown in the figure a fistful of soil means you can understand by seeing the picture and the third step is you have to remove the big stones or rocks or pebbles or any glass blades from it uh, and but better it, you can remove them by using a filter as shown in the figure and children be very careful while handling the soil samples and do not hurt yourself and coming to the fourth step in the next step after you filter the soil sample 
you have collected add some water and knead the soil and see that you do not make it so sticky that means don't add too much water to the soil just knead it that it does not become too much sticky coming to the fifth step in the fifth step try to make a small ball of the soil you have kneaded and do not assume you will get the same result of shape and texture as shown in the figure it is only just for your reference that you need to make a ball uh, from the soil you have kneaded and in the sixth step try to make a cylinder of this ball by rolling it on a flat surface like you do it for the roti you can just roll the ball on a flat surface and try to make a cylinder of it and coming to the seventh step you have made a cylinder shape from the soil sample you have collected yes and in this step now you try to make a small ring of that cylinder you have made out of the soil sample and now in the last step that is uh, by the seventh step you will end this activity and in the next you will do the same activity for the other samples you have collected if any so after performing the activity you will understand that the extent to which a soil can be shaped can indicate its type and due to its unique characteristics as to your knowledge if you have achieved all the shapes out of the soil sample you have collected you can assume it to be the clay soil for other soil the shapes attainment can, would be little difficult and for some it would be different so children the activity for today's class will be the same activity we have just discussed perform the activity only if the situations permit you and if you are easy enough to perform this activity but try to understand this activity and try to uh, get the conclusions or the observations what you will get after performing this activity and the next assignment is you all know the famous characters bhojo and paheli yes from your textbook yes i think you still remember them bhojo had a doubt in your textbook that which type of soil would be the best for making pots toys and statues after understanding today's class you can also answer the question of bhojo i have given the answer here but your work is you have to explain why why clay soil is the best type of soils to make these artworks understand its characteristics better and explain it in detail in your science notebook okay children in the next class we'll continue this lesson thank you children